Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a try on haul and it's also a PR unboxing. So if you'd like to find out more, then just keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. I'm doing this haul a little different because I only have a few items to share with you. I also wanted to kind of do a get ready with me. So what I'm gonna do is apply the products and I'm gonna speed through the application just so that you guys can watch me get ready and see me complete the makeup look that you see here after I finish applying the makeup I will let you all know what I thought of the products that I applied to my face especially the ones that are new I'm also going to just use some oldies but goodies but there'll be products that I haven't used for a while I'll leave timestamps down below to let you guys know when I'm doing different parts of this video before we get started with the try on portion of this video I want to go ahead and share with you my PR items and unbox those and I also am going to share some products that I purchased that I was not able to apply today. Like I have a couple of skincare items that I just picked up as well. So let's go ahead and do that part. Then we're going to do the try on part of this video and then we're going to kind of sum it all up at the end. This is a drugstore product that I purchased a while ago and my plan was to film a video on it and I just haven't had time with all of the end of year videos that we do and just a lot of things that I've been filming and I still would like to film a video on this. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Pressed Powder and it's a powder foundation I believe. It doesn't really say that it says pressed powder but I believe this is a powder foundation because I think it's got a puff underneath here. The shade that I thought looked like it might match me is Natural Tan. Natural Tan is the shade I picked up. So if you'd like to see a dedicated video on this powder foundation, let me know. It's from CoverGirl. I watched someone else's video on it and it looked promising. So let me know if you want to see a video on that. I have a Forever Mood candle in the back. Caked up is that candle and I really like it. I purchased some gifts at Christmas time and I purchased this for someone. And this one is Gingerbread Trap House. <laughs> And I really liked how it smelled. So I just picked one up for myself. It's a really small one. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It almost smell like smells almost like a cologne. It smells so nice. So it's much smaller than the one that I have in the back there. I could probably burn it in this room. It will probably still smell because this is a pretty small room and I'll burn it in my bathroom, you know, places like that, small places. But I definitely smell a little bit of ginger, a little spice, but a little bread or cake or cookie type as well. I love it. I don't know. It just smells nice. I picked up the Fenty Skin Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. Comes with this. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. Hmm. And then you put this here. I picked it up because my daughter wanted some sunscreen and I've been picking up a few items from Fenty Skin just trying it out. I wanted to try a different brand of sunscreen. I've been talking about Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen forever and I think when I watched like the video on Sephora this just looked like something I would enjoy the way they described it. I can't remember everything they said about it but it's something about it was appealing to me so I picked it up. So I will be trying that out soon and I also picked picked up the Fenty Skin The Daily Duo. This is a mini cleanser and toner serum duo. And I might have even picked some of this up when Fenty was on sale. So I won't open this, but I thought this is a perfect way for me to try this. It's enough for me to see if I like it. So I have so much skincare right now. I'm not sure when I will open this and start using it, but I 
will definitely give this a try. At some point, I went into Sephora. I think they had a 30% off sale on Sephora collection. And I picked up another one of these because my case is broken. It has been well loved. This is the Sephora collection micro smooth powder. And this one is 35 bronze is the shade that I like to use. And this is just a beautiful powder foundation. And you can use it as powder foundation. You can use it to set your liquid foundation. It just gives you the most airbrushed smooth finish and I think it's only twenty dollars it's quite affordable and I've purchased now three or four that's how much I love this powder I'm not sure if I showed this product or not I feel like I may have but I still have not tried it this is the Estee Lauder pure envy blush and I picked it up and haven't had a chance to try it yet this is in the shade wild sunset 330 i may have spoken about it before still didn't get to try it today because i tried the other blush so i'm gonna just go ahead and crack into that mm -hmm. i also picked these up i've used all three of these this was a set of aluminum free deodorant I get on these kicks sometimes and I wanted to try aluminum free deodorant and this is called each and every and I saw it on Instagram I got sucked in by an ad on Instagram you guys have probably seen it I bought a three deodorant set that had three of their favorites so it is lavender and lemon citrus and vetiver is the other one and I also have coconut and lime and I have already used these and I do actually like them these don't replace my regular deodorant but they are good I don't have a lot to compare it to I also purchased the Rio Dio and this says 62 on it I don't know what else it says but Rio Dio it's a deodorant and another youtuber was like going on and on about how good this was it smells good when you initially apply it under your arms but it did not work for me it did not hold up if you know what I mean so I will be returning this but I did pick it up so I'm just letting you know it didn't work for me it might work for somebody else <laughs> because I wanted to kind of try aluminum free and that one didn't work I thought well let me try something else and I saw these on Instagram and picked them up and they work much better than the Sol de Janeiro one that I just showed you but are still not a replacement for my regular deodorant but they are pretty good really really excited about this because this is a PR company that oftentimes sends me products they sent me e-cooking items dong and b and those were some of the brands they sent me design essentials they sent me the sponges that I recently talked about miss swiss sponges they sent me a nice little card here please enjoy your lap coast pieces is what the brand is called really happy and I was able to actually pick items that I wanted to try out so one of the things that I saw was a double wash cleansing pad and there are a couple of these here these are for washing your face so I thought that would be helpful and I got a micro serum mist and it says in the beginning and at the end of makeup this is pink essence so you spray this on before and after makeup so I thought that would be fun to try I also have a biome boost cream this has probiotics and prebiotics and it's got collagen you know collagen is really good for your skin biome boost helps to protect hydrate and maintain healthy microbiome skin is brought back to a state of balance imparting a nourished glow so it boosts hydration levels protects skin barrier restores elasticity and balances the skin microbiome it's sealed so i'm not going to open it but i received that i think these might have been quite popular which is why i picked this up milk 14 day skin masks and one bonus milk free exfoliating cleansing pad these are just face masks and they had all these different types of face masks, just depending on what your skin needs were. This one I thought was pretty safe for me to try out because it's moisturizing. And a lot of times when I use face masks, I want ones that are going to hydrate my skin. It says moisturizing microfiber sheet mask with milk protein essence replenishes conditions and hydrates dry skin. It's winter time and that's the perfect time to try out these types of face masks. My skin 
skin has been really dry. <laughs> Even though I still get oily, my skin has just been drier. And then I also wanted to try the Dr. 14, and this is a shampoo. This is Dr. 14 shampoo and I'll tell you what that is. It provides ultra nourishing scalp care, the foundation of beautiful lustrous hair, the cool refreshing pH balance treatment cleanses and provides essential nutrition to the scalp, helping to soothe dry itchy skin. And it tells some other information, but it's supposed to be really great shampoo. I thought that I would give this a go. So thank you to Lapcoast for sending these items to me. I will have them linked down below if you're interested in checking them out. And I'll also come back and give you guys an update after I've had a chance to try this out. One more PR box to show you guys from the same PR company. Really happy about this one because I have some more items from eCooking. I just mentioned this product in a video and how much I loved it. I actually had this in a much smaller size. So when I requested it this time, I knew how much I liked it. I asked for the bigger bottle. I wasn't sure if I'd get it, but I asked for it. And it is the multi oil. It's an organic jojoba and sesame oil. You can use it on your face, your body, your hair. It's a multi-use oil. I enjoy using this on my hair, on my natural curly hair. My hair's not curly right now. But when my, my hair is curly, my hair loves this oil. I'm really happy to have it, especially in this size. This product I picked up because one of my subscribers recommended this. This is the Overnight Foot Cream. And it treats and moisturizes the skin. And she said this was really good. So this is a foot cream. There are times when I have drier feet. I don't know about other women of color, but I think in general, our skin can be drier. I thought this would be great to try out on my feet. <laughs> So I asked them to send this to me and they sent this to me as well. Everything that I have tried from eCooking has been good and I have talked about it here on my channel. So be sure to check out their website, check out these couple of products, but check out other eCooking products because they are very good. It's like a Danish, I think it's a Danish company, but they're good. And the foot cream says, this is a beauty shortlist awards winner from 2020. You gonna have some soft feet. <laughs> or I'm gonna have some soft feet. <laughs>
He's watching. Everything he's watching. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for my brows and I'll be back. Just as soon as I play the part of keeping you in the right direction, no matter how, how your confidence may fall, I'll be here as your foundation, and I say, Hey. Hold on, hold on to me. 
So let's just talk about some of the things that I wore that were new to me. So the Melt blush, this is a cream blush. So you let me know, it's very natural on me. It does show up on me. Um, once I got it and saw that it was a little light, I wasn't sure whether it would or not. I have a lot of blushes that are lighter in the pan that look beautiful on my skin. I used this on top of powder and it worked fine. So I can only assume that without the powder, it would be fine as well. And I think that it is pretty. It's not blowing my mind in the mirror. I think it went on easy and I'll just continue to try this out. Of course, you can't really tell until you wear it for a while to see if it like wears off and fades, but the color built up nicely. It looks pretty and I like it. <laughs> this is so funny because this video that I'm doing right now probably will go up before another video that I did where I used this same foundation. My original shade that I chose was 38P and I'm going to keep that shade. These are only $20. I'll see if my daughter wants to try it out to see if it works for her and I may pass it on to her. I almost chose this one but didn't pick it up because when I watched other people who look like my complexion, I watched them try this out and it looked so orange on them. It could have just been their camera settings. I don't know, but I just wasn't sure because it looked orange. On my skin, it blended in beautifully and it definitely matches my skin tone and looks great. Like it is a wonderful shade match, I think beautiful so it definitely is a better shade match than the original shade and i tested that out in a separate video in another video and hopefully i'll post that video as well but i know the one that i'm doing today is going to go up first so <laughs> i just decided to pick it up in the correct shade and go back and film the video again i even may have gotten this when i bought the micro smooth powder at a cheaper price. I mean, that may be why I went ahead and bought it again. I'm not sure. So I like the foundation. It gives you a very natural sort of satin finish, not dewy, not matte, just a satin finish. So I like it. Natural finish. I think I previously hauled this. This was the, the Lichel and Acai Burst Lip Oil I usually like watermelon, that's my favorite, but this one was on sale, I picked it up and I had this on initially when I was applying my makeup. Love that lip oil. The Kosas Concealer, this is in the shade seven. I like the shade, I think it's a good shade match, but it looks sort of bright and I don't know if that's because of this or the powder that's making my under eyes look so bright and I don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> My under eyes look a little dry. Hmm. I, it could be the powder because I did go back and apply a little bit more powder because I felt like I was starting to shine right here and I applied a little bit more powder so maybe I applied too much powder because this seemed quite hydrating initially. Like I felt like it was very hydrating when I was applying this and I've heard really good things about this concealer. It's not creasing. I do see my fine lines but they're not like overly exaggerated or anything. I feel like I see a little gray shadow here and here, a little bit. It filled in my divots. I call them the divots, like the little sockets pretty well, but I do still see them a little. And I didn't want to keep building up, building up, building up. Not bad. I think my under eyes look pretty good and I can see what the hype was all about. I just need to try it a few more times before I have an opinion on it. I need to try it again with other products, other powders, like building it up and seeing can I build it up a little bit more to cover those couple of shadows. Can I do that? I didn't want to apply too much in this video. So anyway, good first impression. We'll need to continue to try it to be able to tell you guys if I love it. I'm not sure if I used this Rodeo Drive highlighter here before. I've had it a while. I hauled it months ago. I did use this and so that's the highlighter that you see here. It's, it's very bright and spectacular as highlighters go. I used to love, love, love the Ofra highlighters, but as I have tried other highlighters, there are several that I like better than Ofra. But I do think that this is a good brand of highlighters because once you set the face, it just kind of melts into your skin, but it gives you a very 
spectacular highlight. But initially, whenever I apply these, this is just one of those highlighters that I do see it kind of skipping. I have more mature skin and I can see that texture a little bit more with this when I first apply it. But once I spray setting spray, that goes away. So then if you apply this highlighter and you don't use setting spray, I don't know if You'll have to wait until your natural oils come through. That's if you're my age. If you're younger than me, it won't matter. This is going to probably be fine. But this is just one of the ones that I notice kind of shows more texture. But it also is very gorgeous. Very, very beautiful on the skin. This lip product, this is like a lip click. And you click the bottom. And I felt like, though, I kept clicking and I can't get more to come up. And maybe it is. It did come up a little bit at that time. This one, again, is in the shade Creme Brulee. So it's like a brown. This is not my first time trying this on. And I was, like, blown away. I was like, wow, this is very creamy any of the shiny lipsticks that we all like like the ones that i love from maybelline it has that texture feels like that this one is like a natural brown i line my lips just to kind of control the product the lip liner looks really good with this the color of it looks like this so it's like a brown nude so very pretty love this and it's from sephora collection and it was on sale during the holidays. It's from Sephora Collection, and it's great. So I'd love to get another one. And I think when I was in store, I was looking for it and could not find this in store. So I don't know if you just have to purchase it online or what, but this is good. I'm so, so happy that I was finally able to try out this palette. What do you guys think of my eyeshadow look? I'm loving it. <laughs> I was like so floored just by the few shades that I applied on my face. I didn't want to swatch them. This palette has been out for a while. You guys have seen it. I didn't want to swatch them all. I just wanted to try a few shades and I cannot wait to continue to use this. I am getting ready to move last year's palette into the Alex drawers because it's been on my vanity ever since it came out. This is not necessarily any better. It is different and I'm ready to try something different. I love that I have four mattes. I'm not sure how many the last one had, but it's four mattes and it's four perfect mattes because I had like a beautiful transition crease color. I also added in this deep chocolate you can kind of define your lower V and you could also use that in the crease. So the two brown shades were perfect. I had something for my inner tear duct. I just really like the combinations of colors that I see here and I cannot wait to use this more. This brow pencil is by Maybelline. It is a good option if you want to try a brow pencil from the drugstore, but I still like the L'Oreal brow pencils that I tried out not too long ago. I like both of those better. It's creamier than this. It looks like it's probably not a ton of product, so I'm interested to see how long this is gonna last. But it did work fine on my brows, and it is from the drugstore. Some of the other products that I used, I just wanna mention this. This I have not used this on camera, I think, in a while. I've had this one for a while because I stopped using it. I felt like I was starting to get more oily with this and I found some other primers that I just like better and this was like my holy grail for a long time but now I've been going back to it in the winter because my skin has been dry and I'm like this is it yes use this in the winter time when you're more dry use something different in the summer so this is the YSL Touche Eclat it's a blurring primer that adds a beautiful healthy glow to your skin so this used to be my holy holy grail it's not quite there anymore but I do still like it in the winter time is the best time for me to use it. I haven't used this Cover FX bronzer in a while either on camera with you guys, but I use it all the time. It is the most disgusting looking like packaging. It was just never a great package ever. It's just the most soft powder and it just goes on so beautifully on my skin. So I reach for that all the time. I just don't always show you guys here on camera, but I love that bronzer. Just one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites. And I think that is it, except this brush, this brush, this brush is amazing. 
All right, so that concludes my try on haul as well as my unboxing and just showing you guys other products that I've purchased recently. And let me know what you thought of this format. I just wanted to try something different. <laughs> so thank you for joining me for today's video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.